Uh, let's get the ambiance, right? Hey, you remember that? You remember when Lemmy went to that bar and he found those four really hot bartenders and it's like, you know what? I think you guys would look great in a metal band. And you should see them. I mean, they're gorgeous, they're hot, metal chicks. They're actually former bartenders. You remember this song? Yeah. You know what really sucks? When you contact somebody on the Senate Intel Committee and you tell them you have information that you're concerned might escalate to a terrorist attack, and they put you on their mailing list. Why? Because he's got some bill pending about beer from your home state. What the fuck did you think you were going to export to Texas? Sorry, sorry, sorry. They do this thing. Right now, my library account, they do this thing in Dallas where you can't go to the library anymore and get information. You can't. You got to go through a whole process, look it up online, put in a request, and then they hook up some deal. And then they hook up a deal and let you know when they've let you set up a time. And then you have to call and set up an appointment. And it's at least 24 hours before when you confirm the transaction and then when you get to have your on-site deposit made. Every single time I go there, I go there and I'm on one current. I got one profile. And as soon as they fucking give me the book, it's completely different. I got two books one day. One was uh, communications between uh, Louis Brandeis and Felix Frankfurter. You know, they're so fucking anti-Semitic. They're so fucking anti-Semitic. And when I checked out these books about the work that Brandeis did, of course it was some fucking school bond. And it was horribly disgusting. They like to do this thing where they just randomly renew different kinds of books and different condos that are working some sort of deal. You do it all the fucking time. And usually it's a really sick deal. And the implication is that I'm supposed to do some sort of little jumping through some hoop and do something for them. Well, they haven't sent me the email that's reflected in the account right now. Maybe it's because the account begins with a 27, right? What I got right here is the specific PIN number associated with being able to access the account right now, right? Because they'll do this thing where they'll just change your password. So you're going to have to request a temporary password anyway, and then you're supposed to change the password. I don't fuck around with that anymore. Oh, you want to fucking make some transaction on my fucking account? Well, then let me get the PIN number. And they love it because my initials are CCC. I didn't know about Edgar. I did not know about the Edgar database when they started fucking with me and CCCing me onto all kinds of other shit so they could launder money through charity. It's literally what they fucking do. That's what they did last night. And I have the emails in my junk mail to prove it. They do it every time. They hit me with something and then... Psh, and then they trash it on the next one. And usually I'm the one who's supposed to be working the second account. I think they wanted, where are we at now with this? Am I Germanic? Is this supposed to be like some Hun? I think I'm supposed to be Visigoth. I mean, if you didn't like the charges of communists, you shouldn't have done what, like, technically to the letter of the law constitutes brainwashing that was identified as a tactic employed by the communists that was also allowed to be used as evidence in the United States regarding proceedings concerning attempts to recruit people into a communist organization and that were used to identify a communist organization as being dangerous. It's a speech. I got it. It's a, I, I listened to it. I took notes, very extensive notes. Of course, if you're spying on me, you know this too. And it discusses the processes of brainwashing of both POWs and also political dissidents and compares and contrasts the brainwashing techniques used by the communists in the former Soviet Union in Eastern Europe with the uh, brainwashing techniques used by the Koreans and the Chinese. And I'm listening to it and I'm like, whoa, you mean behavioral sciences? You mean those differences in terms of approaches to how you're going to either use the harm reduction approach, which is that you don't direct the conversation, but you just do check-ins with people. 
as opposed to the cognitive behavioral therapy where you run people through routines to kind of assess, well, what are the responses here? And then you set up a system of incentives or disincentives based upon how they respond to subliminal or abstract cues in the 1950s. That was considered brainwashing. It was considered a form of torture. Right now, without telling me, and I only know because I actually went to my library account, they got a lien on my book concerning conversations between Brandeis and Frankfurter. Do you know how disgusting it is that anybody else thinks it's okay for these terrorists downtown to put a lien on a book about two Jewish Supreme Court justices in order to torture me? Because of what? And every day, you know, every day that they've done this, you know what I end the night with? Most of the night is spent. It's a different currency. It's a completely different currency they've got running with the lien on this book. It may be equivalent, it may not be equivalent, but they keep wanting to flip it back to Houston. The shit that was happening in 2005 and 2006 when I was in Houston. And this isn't supposed to be a conversation anymore between two Jewish Supreme Court justices. They want it to be some other kind of characterization, as if somehow now he's got Jewish credit that somebody else drives around in. This barcode right here is for the account right now for today. I'm going to leave it open. I'm sorry. Right? I'm sorry, but I'm not returning this book until they contact me directly and tell me there's a lien on the book. They didn't email me. They didn't call me. I have no notification that somebody requested this book for pickup. That's not what it was. They heard me do a voice file in a review of a case, and now they're trying to lean on it for what purpose? Who is interested in me doing on my own a, pro a, a personal review of a Supreme Court opinion? Who's so interested that they won't talk to me? That they'll obstruct my emails, that they'll interfere with my phone calls, that they'll savage every attempt I try to make to get a job, and yet for some reason think they're still, what, entitled to play these games through public employees that receive public benefits up to and including retirement benefits connected to what would have been my retirement, would have been my pension benefits. Did you not want me to be Jewish, but you wanted the account to be characterized as Jewish so you could lean on it? And you're just going to keep punishing me until I convert it? I absolutely am serious. This is what they do here. And then they try to give it to their children as some sort of funding. But the truth is they don't even give it to the children. They just hook up accounts on the children to give to other people. In finishing, in closing, I'll say this. When I went to the library in Dallas for the first time, I know sometimes it's kind of like you, you, you're trying to cover it up. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. It's not the same. And you see those fashion magazines, and now all these models have tattoos right here. Have you ever seen this? It's horrible. I got fashion magazine after fashion magazine back there. These beautiful young women, they got some weird tattoo right here in their arm. Mm, Sanskrit. I don't see any in Hebrew, but it's usually some sort of exotic script right here. I got at least three different beautiful women that routinely do modeling for these Dallas fashion magazines. This tattoo right here. I don't know why it's so popular. Do you? But, nonetheless, I want to talk about 1001 Arabian Nights. I want to talk about the Junior League. I want to talk about who thinks it's appropriate to put a clada of 1001 Arabian Nights on the second floor children's center of the fucking public library. Who thinks it's appropriate to have a story about an Arabian prince that threatens to murder a young girl every night unless she tells him a story he likes to hear and then put it on either side of a picture of young people from the Junior League. Is that supposed to be your fucking heart? Is that your fucking heart? 
So you're going to what? You're going to torture people night after night after fucking night? My 1001 Arabian Nights is up, assholes. If you wanted to get a hold of his pension fund through UNRWA, you go to him directly. I'm not your fucking bitch. And I'm not giving you this. Did you want this? You know, the whole point of his book, in many ways, was to try to dismantle the injustices created by interlocking directorates. This is not this, is it? 